Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today we are going to be talking about some more of your favourite books that I haven't read yet. So last week we talked about all the really popular young adult books and series that I just haven't gotten around to yet even though I do own them. And I said in that video that I would maybe do an adult one and that's why I'm here today. So I have kept it strictly to science fiction and fantasy as those are the genres that I predominantly own and I'm most interested in. There are tons of other things that I haven't got around to reading yet but this genre has the most and I have quite a lot. Definitely more than I thought I did so I thought it would be better to just keep it to these genres. Last week I gave an honorary mention to Shatter Me as it is a very popular series that I haven't even touched, don't know what it's about and I definitely haven't read it. And for this video I'm going to give a shout out to the Wheel of Time series which I know is a very popular classic fantasy that a lot of people have read and I do not own any of the books in this series. Just like with Shatter Me I have no idea what this is about but I know that a lot of you guys love it. I will probably get around to it sometime with it being one of the staple fantasy series out there. I just don't have any of the books yet. And now that that's out of the way, I think we better get into this video because I have 14 things to talk to you about today. The only order that these are in is the order that I pulled them off my shelves and the first one is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle which is the first book in the Themis Files. This is a science fiction series that follows a girl who falls into a hole and lands on a massive giant hand. Not long after it is found out that there are tons of these giant metal body parts all over the world and they don't know anything about them aside from it is definitely definitely not human technology. When our main character grows up she joins the investigation to find out what these parts are and where they came from. I have heard very good things about this and I am excited to read it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss is a very well-loved high fantasy series. I think it's supposed to be a trilogy but that third book just isn't out yet which is one of the reasons why I haven't picked it up. All I know about this is that it follows our main character Kavoth who is apparently very good at everything. He works in a tavern and one day somebody comes in and Kavoth begins telling his life story. I think he's been to like a magic school and he's done all of these heroic things and I know a lot of people really don't like this because Kavoth just seems unnaturally good at everything. Probably he has a lot of swagger and thinks the world of himself. But I'm really excited to get to this because those are kind of the characters that I really really like. It's just kind of chunky and I'm reading Game of Thrones at the minute so just haven't got there yet. Some of you are going to consider this a sin and I know a lot of you probably think that I'm really gonna love this and I agree, I probably am, but I have not read any of the villain series by V. Schwab and I also have not read any of the Monsters of Verity duology. The only books I have read by V. Schwab are the first two in the Shades of Magic series and I didn't love them. I am going to give that series a second chance but this one is the series by her that I'm most interested in and this follows Victor and Eli who were college roommates who were looking into how to get supernatural powers. They discovered that if you have a near-death experience you can gain supernatural powers and so they begin experimenting on themselves and each other trying to figure out how they themselves can become superheroes. This book is a stand-in for most of an author's work and that is The Final Empire or the first book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I have only read one Brandon Sanderson book and that is Elantris which is his first ever published book. I really liked that one. I gave it four stars. I felt that it had a tiny bit missing which which I assume is going to be remedied because while Elantris is a standalone at the minute it is being turned into a series. So I did make a start on Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere. I am hoping to read at least the first Mistborn trilogy this year because I do really want to slowly work through Brandon Sanderson's entire body of work. So I think that the Mistborn trilogy focuses on a world where many years ago there was a war and the bad guys won and they are now in power or maybe it was the good guys. I don't know but there was a war and somebody won and then other people are trying to take down those people who won that war. And in this world you can ingest metals to use your magical powers and the person that can ingest all of the metals and access all of the powers is called the Mistborn. I own a couple of books by this author and I have not read anything by her but that is Naomi Novik. Her most popular book being Uprooted. I also own the first book in the Temera series which I am much more excited to read than this one but I believe that this one is the most popular. I believe that some of Naomi Novak's work focuses on fairy tales and a sort of alternate version 
versions of fairy tales or have a very fairy tale-esque feel which is something that I'm very interested in and this follows a girl who lives by an enchanted wood. There is also a wizard in it and a dragon and possibly a tower. That is all I know but the reviews on this are very mixed so I'm a little bit hesitant to pick it up and I haven't really prioritised it. Switching up the format we have a manga and that is Death Note by Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata. This is a very popular and very well-loved manga series, probably one of the most popular ones and there have been many adaptations of this, one of which I have seen about half of but it was subtitled and it was on at about 1am and I fell asleep halfway through it. But I believe this focuses on a boy or a young man who finds a diary and if he writes somebody's name in the diary then this big blue beastie guy will come and kill them for him. So I'm really interested in this story, I loved the hour or so of the adaptation that I watched and I just want to dive into the manga. Haven't really started this yet because then I have to purchase the rest and it's only these ones are $9.99 and they contain two volumes of the manga so it's not too bad. It's just I read manga and graphic novels quite quickly so I don't like to rush through them all at once because if I did that would be a lot of money just purchasing like the next installment of series. A classic fantasy that's kind of similar to Mistborn and The Name of the Wind, we have The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is a 10th anniversary edition and this is another case of a series that is still in progress. I think there's supposed to be six books in this series maybe and only three have been published so far. I think the author deals with some mental health issues and that impacts his ability to write his book. So I think the next installment of this may be coming out this year but this follows a guy called Loch Lamora and I think he has a band of thieves. Don't really know much more about it because with high and epic fantasy plots not a lot of detail tends to be given as there tends to be a lot of characters and a lot at stake when you have these chunky series with like an overarching plot but like many many mini plot and character motivation but I have heard very good things about this and I'm sure I'll get to it one day. I'm pretty sure that every book in this series has won an award and that is why it's so popular but this is the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin and this is the first book in the Broken Earth series. I also have another book by N.K. Jemisin but it's not the one in the Inheritance series. It's the first book in the Dreamblood and I picked that one up just because I recognise the author's name and I know absolutely nothing about that story. But I believe that this is by a black author and it contains many people of colour in the character cast and this is something to do with earthquakes and there are a group of people, I'm not sure if they can control or stop the earthquakes. I have to admit that's kind of vague, I only know a couple of people who have read this recently and spoken about it but I am excited to read it. I know at least the first two books have won the Hugo Award but I'm pretty sure the third one did as well so it must be good if every book in the series has won an award. I literally can't tell you very much about this at all but this stands in for an author's entire body of work but this is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is a horrible mass market copy but I bought this second hand and if I like it I will replace it with the newer covers and buy more Robin Hobb. This is the first book that she ever published published and I don't know anything about the plot of this but I know that every single person that I've seen who has read Robin Hobb has absolutely loved her. Like Brandon Sanderson, Robin Hobb tends to write series of trilogies but every trilogy takes place in the same world so you get more out of the stories if you read the trilogies in order. Like I said this is her first published book and she has written a lot of books. I'm really sad because in one of my local charity shops they have a lot of Robin Hobb books but I just don't have the shelf space to collect her entire body of work so I want to read this and I'm hoping I really love it and then I can collect some more of her series. This one's a little different as it is more supernatural than fantasy and it is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I think a book in this series has come out recently. Now I don't know a lot about this. I know that it has been adapted into a TV series recently and it is a paranormal fantasy that contains witches, demons and vampires. That is all I actually know about this. I don't think anybody that I subscribe to on booktube has read this or at least have not read it that I have seen. So if you have read this give me a little bit more details on the plot and let me know how much you enjoyed it because adult paranormal is something that I am very inexperienced in especially as I believe that this is supposed to be more of a serious series maybe as opposed to smut like a lot of adult paranormal can be. I got this on the recommendation of a friend that I went to uni with who really loves this author. I don't know anybody on booktube who has read this but I do know that it is really popular because I see it literally everywhere when I'm 
I'm out and about in charity shops. So at one point it must have been really popular because you don't get a lot of epic fantasy in charity shops near where I live. And that is The Magician's Apprentice by Trudy Canavan. Now Trudy Canavan has three main trilogies I think and two of them follow on from each other and this is a prequel to the two trilogies that follow on from each other. Similarly to Brenda Sanderson and Robin Hobb she seems to be an author that likes to write in the same world and writes in trilogies. Now I'm guessing that this contains some magic as the two trilogies and this book do have something to do with magicians which is really exciting to me. My friend who I was very close to at uni really loved this and while he doesn't read a lot I do trust his opinion so I think that this is something that I will really enjoy. I just haven't heard any reviews on it so if you have read this please let me know how you enjoyed it. This is kind of a cheat because I have read this but I didn't finish the series and I haven't read this as an adult which is interesting and that is The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. My mum read these and really enjoyed them and so I read them when I was about 13 and trust me I was too young. This is a very adult paranormal detective series that follows Harry Dresden who works with the police department and they pass along to him any cases that contain anything supernatural or out of the ordinary and then he goes and solves them. I do believe that he's a wizard I think and what I remember about this is that he's very funny, very sassy and very sarcastic but there is like a lot of sex and gore in this. I'm not sure how gory the gore was but definitely too much for me at the age that I was at. However, I did enjoy them even though I didn't really understand everything that was going on and now I have been collecting them to read as an adult because I definitely think I will enjoy these now. And the last one is a sci-fi and that is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Wow, this is shiny. So from what I know of the Red Rising saga, it follows a guy who, is it Darrow? Is Daryl the main character? And he lives in this colour cast system and in this system he is a red and the reds have been charged with mining and gathering resources. Now I think the reds believe that they are doing this so that the planet that they are mining and gathering these resources on can later be inhabited by humans or whatever species these are. I assume they're humans. However, Daryl finds out that they are kind of just the slaves for this system and that the planet does not need to be made hospitable after all. I think that this is a rebellion plot I know that Pierce Brown is currently writing the second trilogy in this saga that takes place a little after what happens in the first trilogy. I've heard great things about this but I also have heard that it's a love it or hate it kind of thing but it seems right up my alley and Pierre Ford loves it and that's kind of all the recommendation I need. So those are all of your favourite adult books that I haven't read yet. Please let me know if there are any more big epic fantasy series that you think I must read. Kind of like The Wheel of Time, I think all of the others that I'm aware of of. I have gathered at least the first book so I can make a start. Obviously I know about like Warbreaker, Warbringer, Warbreaker by Brendan Sanderson and the Stormlight Archives but as I'm working through most of these authors in order I've just kind of gathered the bits that I need to make a start if that makes sense but definitely if you think that I'm missing any big epic fantasy series do let me know because that is definitely the direction in which my reading is moving. Aside from that please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the Instagram for that and 10% off discount code and if you head over there on the day that this video goes up or on Monday then I will have two Game of Thrones candles on sale to celebrate the start of the last ever series of Game of Thrones. Pray for me, it's going to be rough. But that's it from me today guys. Bye! Oh you bite your friend like chocolate You say you will go where nobody knows With guns in under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no